Hello students, let's do simple linear equations. Exercise 16A, page number 169. We have with question 3, solve first one, 3x, we have to solve for x. So 3x equals 12. 3x means 3 into x, isn't it? So that is equal to 12. Now to solve for x, we leave x on the left hand side. We leave 12 on the right hand side. Now I'm going to transpose 3 from the left to the right hand side. So when it comes to the right hand side, because it is multiplication on the left, it becomes division on the right. So it becomes 12 divided by 3. 3 into how much is 12? 3 4s are 12. Therefore, x is equal to 4. Question 2. 2y equals 9. That means 2 into y equals 9. So to solve for y, we put y, leave y on the left hand side, 9 on the right hand side and transpose 2 to the right hand side. Because it's multiplication, it becomes division here. So now it's 9 by 2. Let's divide 9 by 2. 2 fours are 8 minus 1. Now I'm going to continue my division by putting a decimal point, which I will carry up. Now I can put a 0. Bring that 0 down. Now the number is 10. 2 fives are 10. So now I've got my answer as 4.5. So the value of y is 4.5. Question 5. Question 3. 5z five means 5 into z equals 8.5. So to solve for z, we leave z on the left hand side, 8.5 on the right hand side, transpose 5 to the right becomes division. So 8.5 divided by 5. Let's do that division. 8.5 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5 minus 8 minus 5 is 3. There is a point after that, after 8, so I carry that point up and I bring down the 5. Now my number is 35. 5 sevens are 35. So what do I have? I have 1.7 as my answer. So the value of z is 1.7. Question 4. 2.5m is equal to 7.5. So 2.5 into m equals 7.5. So to solve for m, we leave it on the left, then we leave 7.5 on the right, we transpose 2.5 to the right hand side, it becomes division 2.5. Now as you can see, both these are decimal numbers. I'm going to change them to whole numbers. That means I need to move my point one place to the right for both the numbers. To do that, I have to multiply both by 10. So let me multiply both by 10. Now what do I get? 7.5 becomes 75 and 2.5 becomes 25. So let's divide 75 by 25. 75 divided by 25. 25 into 3 is 75. So, what is our answer? Our answer is m is equal to 3. So, this is the value of m. Question 5. 3.2p means 3.2 into p is equal to 16. So, we're going to solve for p. So, we leave p on the left hand side, 16 on the right hand side, Transpose 3.2, so it becomes division 3.2. Now let's divide 16 by 3.2. In decimal division, we have learned that if the denominator has a decimal point, we can make it a whole number by multiplying it by 10, 100 or 1000, depending on the number of places. Here the point has to move only one place, so I'm multiplying it only by 10 with one zero. I multiply both by 10. So 16 into 10 will become 160 and 3.2 will become 32. Now let's divide 160 by 32. 32 into 5 will give us 160. So the value of P is 
5. So value of P is 5. Question 6. 2A is equal to 4.6. That means 2 into A equals 4.6. So let's find the value of A. A is equal to 4.6 divided by 2. So let's divide that. 4.6 divided by 2. Two twos are 4 minus. Now this is a point. Carry the point up. Bring the 6 down. Two threes are 6. So we found the answer. The value of A is 2.3. Question 4. First one, x by 2 equals 5. So here we're going to leave x on the left hand side. We're solving for x. We're leaving it on the left hand side. On the right, I'm going to leave 5 as it is. Now 2 is division here. So when we transpose it to the right hand side, it becomes multiplication into 2. So now we know the value of x. x is equal to 5 to the 10. So that's the value of x. Question 2. y by 3 equals minus 2. So we need to solve for y. Let's leave y on the left hand side. Minus 2 on the right hand side. Now transpose 3 to the right hand side. Now that becomes multiplication. So y is equal to now the sign is minus 2 3s are 6. So y is equal to minus 6. Question 3. a by 5 equals minus 15. So let's solve for a. We leave a on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we will leave minus 15. We will transpose 5 to the right hand side. It becomes multiplication. So now a is equal to now, sinus minus 15 fives are 75. So, A is equal to minus 75. Question 4. Now, here we have Z by 4 equals 3, 1 by 4. So, we're going to solve for Z. We're going to leave it here. And on the right-hand side, we have 3, 1 by 4, which we're going to convert to an improper fraction. 4, 3 is 12 plus 1, 13 by 4. Now we have 4 on the left hand side which we are going to carry to the right. So when we carry it to the right it becomes multiplication. So that's 4. We'll make it 4 by 1. Now it's become multiplication of fractions. And here we can cancel. I can cancel 4 and 4. So what is left? I have 13 by 1 which is 13. So the value of Z is 13. Next question, m by 6 equals 2, 1 by 2. So let's solve for m. m is equal to 2, 1 by 2. Now let's convert that to 2 is 4 plus 1, 5 by 2 into 6. I can make that 6 by 1. Now it's become multiplication of fractions. So I can cancel. 2, 1s are 2, 2, 3s are 6. So let's multiply what's left. 5 threes are 15 and 1 ones are 1. So this becomes 15. 15 by 1 is simply 15. So the value of m is 15. Question 6. n by 7 equals minus 2.8. So let's find the value of n. I'm going to leave n on the left hand side. Minus 2.8 on the right hand side. And transpose 7. So from here, when it goes to the right hand side, it becomes multiplication. So let's multiply 2.8 into 7. Ignore the point. 28 into 7. 7 eighths are 56, carry 5. 7 twos are 14 plus 5, 19. Now let's put back the point. There's one decimal place. So here also there should be one decimal place. It becomes 19.6. That is min minus 19.6. So the value of n that we have found is minus 19.6. Question 5. First one. Minus 2x is equal to 8. So that will be minus 2 into x equals 8. Therefore, x will be 8 divided by minus 2. 
So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Two fours are 8, isn't it? So we have a minus and a plus sign. So we follow the same rules as for multiplication. When minus into plus is minus. So this is minus 4. Minus 3.5y is equal to 14. So here let's find the value of y before that. Minus 3.5 into y equals 14. Therefore, y, we will leave y here on the left hand side. And on the right, we will leave 14 as it is. We will transpose minus 3.5 to the right side. It becomes division here, minus 3.5. Now we are going to divide 14 by 3.5. The minus sign remains there. Divide 14 by 3.5. 3.5 is the decimal number, so we change it to a whole number by multiplying it by 10. So multiply the numerator also by 10. So what do we get here? We get 140 by 35. So let's divide 140 by 35. Thirty-five into four is one hundred and forty. So here, what do we get? We get y is equal to. We found the value of y. Y is equal to minus four. So here also, we have got y is equal to minus four. Moving on to question three, minus five z. So that will be minus five into z is equal to four. Therefore, to find the value of z, we leave it on the left-hand side. On the right, we leave 4 as it is and minus 5 will now become division. So, it's minus 5. So, this cannot be further simplified. So, z is equal to minus 4 by 5. Question 4. Minus 5 is equal to a plus 3. So, I'm just bringing the equation a small change, I'm going to bring what is on the right hand side to the left hand side. So a plus 3 equals minus 5. There is no other change. This is just to make my working easier. So to find the value of a, I leave it here. On the right hand side, I leave minus 5. Now plus 3, when it goes to the other side, becomes minus 3. So to find the value of a, when signs are the same, put the same sign and add 5 plus 3 is 8. So the answer is A is equal to minus 8. Next question, 2 is equal to P plus 5. So I'm going to do the same thing. What is on the right hand side? I'm just writing it on the left to make my work easier. Now I'm going to find the value of P. So what is on the right hand side remains as it is. Plus 5 will go to the other side and become minus so this is plus 2 and that is minus 5. So here to find the value of P, remember the rules of integers. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Question 6. 4.5 is equal to M minus 2.7. So that is M minus 2.7 equals 4.5. So to find the value of m, I will leave 4.5 on the right hand side. I will transpose minus 2.7. That becomes plus 2.7. So let's find the value of m by adding this. So 4.5 plus 2.7. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry 1. I'll put the point. 4 plus 1, 5, 6, 7. 7.2. So the value of m is 7.2. Moving on to question 7. Now again, let's rewrite the question. x minus 2, 1 by 3 equals 3, 2 by 5. Now let's find the value of x. So let's convert. On the right side, let's convert. 5, 3 is a 15 plus 2, 17 by 5. Now we're transposing 2, 1 by 3 to the other side. So it becomes plus. Now 3. 2, 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7 by 3. So now let's find the value of x by adding up 17 by 5 and 7 by 3. So let's do that in the working column. 17 by 5 plus 
7 by 3. This is addition of fractions. So let's find the LCM of 5 and 3. 3, 5, 3, 1 are 3, and then 5, 1 and 1. So the LCM is 3 into 5, which is 15. So let's use the LCM to get our numerators, 15 here. So 5, 3s are 15. So we multiply 17 also by 3. So let's multiply 17 by 3. 3 7s are 21, carry 2. 3 1s are 3, 4, 5. So that is 51 plus 3 5s are 15. So 7 5s are 35. So we need to add 51 and 35. So let's add up 51 and 35. 1 plus 5 is 6. 5 plus 3 is 8. So we get 86 by 15. Now this is an improper fraction which needs to be converted to a mixed number. So we have to divide 86 by 15. Let's do that. 15 fives are 75. Let's subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1. 8 minus 7 is 1. So we get 5, 11 by 15. So that is our answer. The value of x is 5, 11 by 15. Question 8. 5 is equal to m plus 3, 4 by 7. So let's rewrite that. m plus 3, 4 by 7 equals 5. So to find the value of m, we leave it on the left-hand side. We leave 5 on the right-hand side. We carry plus 3, 4 by 7. We transpose it, so it changes to minus. Now let's write 3, 4 by 7 this side. So that is 3, 4 by 7. Therefore, m is equal to 5 minus, let's convert 7, 3 is at 21 plus 4, 25 by 7. So now we have to subtract 5 minus 25 by 7. Let's just give this our denominator 1. So now the LCM will be 7. So let's find out 1 into 7 is 7. So 5 7 are 35. Minus 7 into 1. So 25 into 1 is 25. Now 35 minus 25 is 10. 10 by 7, which is an improper fraction, is converted to a mixed number. So divide 10 by 7. 7 ones are 7 minus 3. Okay, 10 minus 7 is 3. So we get 1, 3 by 7. So x is equal to m. The value of m is equal to 1, 3 by 7. So let's write that down. The value of m is equal to 1, 3 by by 7. So now I have rewritten the question. So let's find the value of y. y is equal to, on the right hand side I have minus 2, 1 by 5 which I am going to leave as it is. Now minus 4 from the left hand side I am going to transpose it to the right hand side. That will become plus 4. So my, uh, let's find out the value of y. We'll work this out in the working column. Minus 2, 1 by 5 plus 4. So first step, let's convert. 5 twos are 10 plus 1, 11 by 5 plus 4. So let me give this the denominator 1. Now I must find out the LCM of 5 and 1, which will be 5. Now let's get our new numerators. 5 ones are 5, so 11 ones are minus 11. So I'll write plus here and let's go to the next denominator. 1 fives are 5. So 4 fives are 20. So now as you can see, signs are different. Minus and plus. When signs are different, we'll put the sign of the bigger number and we'll subtract. 20 minus 11 is 9. 9 by 5. Now let's divide 9 by 5. 5 ones are 5 minus 4. So this is to convert 9 by 5 to a mixed number because it's an improper fraction. So I get 1, 4 by 5. So I have found the value of y to be 1, 4 by 5. So with that, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.